and recording. So, going along with the theme for tonight, I'm allowing the YouTube algorithm to pick uh, or suggest songs for me. Uh, over the last couple of days, I've been, every, every time I log in, if I see something on my home page where the still for the video looks interesting, I've just been putting it to my uh, watch later playlist. I've been adding it. So, um, yeah, this next one, I think the the still was like a, a woman with like her mascara running, like a nice profile shot. Uh, it just looked like a, the cinematography of it looked really cool. Band called Twin Tribes, song called Monolith. And I have it queued up here on YouTube. This is uh, approximately four and a half minutes. And it's from three weeks ago with just over 200,000 views. Let's see. Oh, and the lyrics are there. Let's see if I dissect them later or not. Go! <laughs> picture to pause it at just like very visceral uh, this has like a new wave uh, goth uh, kind of feel to it um, that I enjoy a great deal uh, I wanted to I, I like the song the the thing I'm struggling with is that should I make a joke or not the the main guy with the curly hair off to the side Looks exactly like the main goth kid from South Park. So <laughs> that's kind of taking me out of it just a little. But <laughs> but I, I did the concept of the song. Or the presentation, the narrative of the video so far. Because she's all clad in white. The room's all white. Um, the shelving. Uh, every, everything is white. So as soon as she touched the monolith, which looked to be composed of like uh, dark flowers, 
all of a sudden it's like a symbiote, like the venom thing, like it's slowly taking over her and it's um it's taking over her body. Then like as the stuff is coming out of her mouth, she's spreading it along everything that's white. It's um you're turning it into the darkness. And uh, there was a break there where everything was like uh, very floral, very pink and purple um, and red. Um, so if the monolith is made of like black flowers, she's remembering like uh, the innocence, the white uh, cladness that she had before. But now it's reverting back to this because it also seems like she's in pain, so... Let's go back a little. She also... Who is she remind me of? Go! like a mud kind of look I I really the side by side um, when she's in the um, the place with the flowers where it's all pink pink and pretty where she's doing the more fluid movements where it's more of a ballet versus uh, or juxtaposed to where she's in the black and white where it's all sort of manic and angular and more like a, a demonic or something. Like she's possessed. I like that contrast because there's like a battle in her head of like wanting to remember like the purity while on the outside she's being like poisoned and being drugged into this, the, the monolith, which seems to be overtaking her. Visual is super cool. Very expressive face. She was real good. As far as like the actual music, it's, it's real. I feel like the last like five years or so, like I've noticed an uptick in like a dark wave, um, especially around Los Angeles. Like you're starting to see a lot more of that. Like it's much more of like an 80s sort of um, like new order kind of feel to uh, a lot of the music that's coming back because everything goes in cycles so it's interesting I dig it I dig it I, I feel like this music is real cool to dance to and to have on in the background and since I don't or I haven't been listening to a lot of it recently 
I'm digging the hell out of it. But it's also one of those things where, like, the more I listen to it, the more it sounds to all sort of meld together. And I can't necessarily differentiate between the songs because they all kind of have that same beat and the same sort of cadence to the to the vocals. But again, like as a one-off, I haven't heard anything like this in a while. Dug it, especially with the presentation, the sort of narrative. It was real cool looking. So again, I dug the hell out of that. I'm actually kind of curious about the lyrics. Let's see if it's worth looking into. Trust in me, I will rise through the fire in the sky. Set me free, ancient lies. Is this peace divine? The light will cast me aside. This is poison. Uh, trust in me, as I am shattering inside. The vision upon us, the memory remains. Nothing to defy. The light will cast me aside. Bring me to silence, a right for the heart. Bring me to silence through the light. Me and then and there, me and then and there. So, so it's poison. I poison myself, I'm poisoning you. So it makes me think more like um, a relationship. So a monolith is a singular thing. You think of like, uh, what's that, K Kubrick, Stanley Kubrick movie? Uh, 2001 Space Odyssey you know, think of that uh, evolution something moved forward to but uh, if you're poisoning me I poison myself I'm poisoning you it's like a relationship so the relationship is the monolith so it's the coming together that's poisoning us apparently trust in me I will rise through the fire in the sky or instead of a relationship, it's like a possession, like I said earlier, like a symbiote, like Venom, but it could be a demon. So, interesting. Not a lot of vocals, like this is very short. Huh. I dig it though. It's a cool sound and it makes you want to like move to it. Probably check out more.